For the past 10 years, researchers brought together by the Army's corporate laboratory have been on the path of discovery, innovation, and transition of groundbreaking network science projects in support of Army modernization under what is known as the Network Science Collaborative Technology Alliance, or NSCTA. The Network Science CTA established a, a science in, which involves an interdisciplinary approach to trying to understand the interactions between a communication network like the internet or like a wireless network, along with a network of information that is naturally forming throughout the internet and wireless networks. This idea that warfare requires an interaction between the communication network, humans, the information network, that was pretty visionary at that time. And so that and sort of the formation of this idea of network science will be the long-term contribution of the NSCT. Collaborative technology and research alliances are partnerships between Army laboratories and centers, private industry, and academia that are focusing on the rapid transition of innovative technologies to the warfighter to enable Army modernization. Collaboration between ARL and the academic researchers was excellent. From the academic side through ARL has really been great. Like everybody's worked together very, very well. It's a very, very strong, cohesive team. So that was a very, very fun experience in addition to being very productive. Network science is a critical enabler for making sure that multi-domain operations can occur in the Army. So if you're looking at new sensors, you're looking at new techniques for ballistics, you're looking at how do you do long-range precision fires, in order to do that, you do have to understand not only the communication network, but how it interacts with the information and how it interacts with the people that are making that work. I think the CTA is a basic research project. It creates the scientific foundations. I think now that we have the foundations, we can go ahead and build the tools that embody these foundations that actually are deployed, that are helping the soldiers, that are helping the commanders. And, uh, and that needs additional investment. And I look forward to you know, seeing some of these tools getting deployed. These researchers set out to create knowledge and perform foundational cross-cutting research for a fundamental understanding of interactions, interdependencies, and common underlying science among multi-genre networks, social cognitive, information, and communications to determine how processes in one network affect and are affected by those in other networks, and to develop approaches to predict and control complex interacting networks. Five different domains, aerospace, land, sea, and cyber. And the thing that connects all those is networks. Again, networks of people, networks of things, and, and telecommunications network. So the technology coming out of NSCTA is necessary for all those domains to communicate, share information, and for the people to actually have the kind of situational awareness the soldier needs in all those different domains. Prediction and control of the complex behavior of these interacting networks will ultimately enhance effectiveness of Army systems and operations, from developing a multi-domain common operating picture to autonomous networking control for resiliency in a dynamic, resource-constrained, connected and contested environment. The NSCTA gave me an opportunity to evaluate an area of my research where I'm developing something called the Rich Event Ontology. The Rich Event Ontology, or RIO, is a computer-readable inventory of events, essentially. So it organizes events hierarchically based on their type, but it also organizes events compared to one another based on causal and temporal types of relationships. This is something I never imagined doing, but as I see it, I use linguistics to fight terrorism. The program focuses on three primary technical thrusts, co-evolving dynamic inner genre networks, information processing across networks for decision-making, and quality of information for semantically adaptive networks. Co-evolution and dynamics of intergenre networks, or co-Eden, focuses on foundational science for modeling, understanding, predicting, controlling, and optimally designing co-evolving intergenre networks, both friendly and adversarial. Quality of Information for Semantically Adaptive Networks, or QOI-SAN, focuses on measuring, predicting, and adapting composite networks to deliver the most valuable information with dynamically changing network resources rather than the most bits or queries. Information Processing Across Networks for Decision-Making, or IPAN, deals with information discovery, analysis, and visualization over multi-genre networks to improve effectiveness in distributed decision-making. Under the NSCTA, I served as the lead for the information processing across networks thrust. 
The impetus of the thrust is how do you get indicators from these different genres of networks and turn these into situational awareness. The great thing about the program was it's, it was allowed to go ahead and integrate different thoughts and disciplines of how do you incorporate these different interactions. Though ending this year, NSCTA research will live on through the networks of passionate researchers across the Army, industry, and academia. They will continue to shape the science and technology for our Army of 2028 and beyond through the vision of multi-domain operations to provide our warfighters with the best capabilities to win any fight, anywhere, at any time. So what we have done the NSCTA is we have really shaped the, uh, the science. I, mean, I did a Google search back in 2006 on network science and it says page not found, no definition exists. If you go today, the first hit is the bar study, the second is the Wikipedia that talks about the NSCTA program among other things. It enabled us to collaborate with uh, many great people outside of the community, but also within the lab, right? I mean, you know, folks in SED, folks in HRAD, uh, with whom I knew them, I knew of them, I knew them, knew their work, but didn't necessarily had collaborated with them before. So this gave an opportunity for that. Uh, give us a chance to mentor people in the outside community, and I think that's important uh, because those are the future scientists who will be working uh, in the DOD uh, space. We're finally at a point where we're seeing everything come together, so it's been very impressive to see the demos. With most things, at the end is when the really exciting stuff is happening, so the one thing I'd like to see is some continuation of the program.